Okay, let's look at um, number 18 here. So we have to find the slope of a curve. Now you have to remember that slope of a curve uses this definition. Okay, it's really just, it's kind of like a modification of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Except, you know, for the y2, we do like a function value. We do function value minus a different function value. And it's all over. The, the long way of thinking of it as, it's like, I think of it as x plus h minus just x. So that's the idea. But in your uh, actual definition, you notice how x minus x is 0, so you just see h on the bottom normally. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Instead of just taking my function to be 3x squared, I'm going to picture, I'm going to use a constant multiple rule. You don't have to do this, but this is the clever shortcut I'm, I'm kind of showing you. Instead of seeing it as 3x squared, see it as 3 times x squared. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to factor the 3 out. Okay, I'm using this definition of a limit. Um, uh, you could, if you did, did the whole, this is if you did, did it without factoring, you'd have to do all this and expand this thing and distribute the 3 and then kind of take it out. You know, instead of doing all that, I'm going to rewrite it this way, so I'm, I'm not going to do it this way, which you could. I'm going to do it this way by putting the 3 in timeout, sort of, and just taking the limit of... You know, as h approaches 0 of x squared using the, the slope of the curve. Now, in case some people get caught up, where how'd I get here? Okay, all you do, remember the definition of the limit says you do f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So f of x plus h is x plus h squared. Your function is whatever the stuff is, and you square it. So f of 7 would be 7 squared. f of a plus b would be a plus b squared. So that's the idea. So first thing I do, next thing, I, thing I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this term right here. I'm going to expand that. And it will expand to like x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. You can follow it if you want. And then, uh, oh, and then I'm going to write what this is. Tag that on. That's minus x squared. So here's the idea. This x squared and this x squared are going to cancel out. So you can factor out the h. Now, which is good because when you factor out the h, the h's cancel out. Now, this 3 is still multiplying whatever this limit is. Now that we don't have the variable in the denominator, you can plug 0 in. So when I plug 0 in for h, you just get the 3 still hanging out in timeout here. 2x plus 0. Well, 2x plus 0 is just 2. So we got 3 times 2x, which you can multiply the coefficients there. So that's just 6x. But how do we find the slope? The slope is 6x. Well, that's the general slope at any point x. How do I figure out what the slope is at, remember what my point was? My point was at the point 4, 48. Well, the idea is you want to find it at an x value of 4. Your slope depends on what x value you're in. Well, guess what? You do 6 times 4, which gives you... 24, and that's how you find the slope of a curve.